Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We've got the Ping G425 driver shaft options with us here today. We're gonna break them down and explain kind of which golfers fit into which of these stock shaft offerings for the G425 drivers. So I guess we can, Thomas, we can kind of go down the line here from sort of the lightest down to maybe the heaviest or stiffest. So uh, I'll start here with the uh, Ping Alta Distanza. Uh, so that's a, it's a 40 gram shaft, Thomas and I assume it's kind of for, you know, your maybe lighter, uh, moderate swing speed players out there. Yeah, it's a high launch, high spinning shaft, so it's for that player that's got slower swing speed to generate, that get that ball get a chance to get up in the air. Mm -hmm. so 40 grams, so it's very, very light. Yep. Yeah. So the next one then would be the Alta CB is 55 grams, and so I know there's a little bit of counter balancing going on in this shaft a little bit. Can you explain how that works and then how, you know, or I guess the type of golfer that would fit into this shaft? Yeah, so it is it's called the Alta CB Slate this year. Uh, so this, the CB stands for counterbalance. So there is eight grams of weight kind of up in the top of the grip there, okay. which really kind of helps with control. Um, so club face control, and it's really kind of just kind of an interesting theory to get that club face to turn over. Okay. Kind of, it's like your kind of your mid launch, mid spin golf shaft. So it's probably your your staple stock shaft that you'll get in a lot of Ping G425 drivers. Okay, okay, now moving up then into, I think what would be next would be the Mitsubishi Tensei Orange model you got there. Um, what are the characteristics of that shaft? Yeah, so the Tensei Orange, it's their raw orange. It, so they have two different weight options. They've got a 55 gram and a 65 gram. Okay. This is kind of, it's kind of still like, kind of like a higher, mid to high launch uh, shaft but it's still very, very low spinning. So it's okay. kind of unique, so maybe a little higher launch, but keeps that spin rate down. It's kind of right in the middle of the road, kind of helps fill the gap between, say, the, the Ultra CB Slate and the Tour and the, uh, the Rogue Shaft. Sure, well, so. so now you mentioned the Tour. Uh, I've actually been playing a Ping Tour Shaft in my driver for, I think, five plus years now. And it's been a staple in Ping drivers for a while, and it, it works. I mean, that thing is an excellent driver and it's just the classic Ping Tour driver shaft. So uh, explain a little bit about the Ping Tour shaft. Yeah, this is getting more towards your kind of your lower launch, lower spinning shaft. Mm -hmm. It's, as you mentioned, it's a staple. It's been out for years. So it's performed really, really well for, for Ping in every model going forward. I think mm -hmm. you mentioned it's been five years for you since you G25 or? I got the G30. G30, okay. So yeah. it's been out there for a while. It comes in two different weight offerings. So you've got the Ping Tour 65 and 75 grams. So okay. the 75 is going to be your heaviest option right. out there with regards to shafts. And then finally, we've got the El Dillo Rogue, I believe, there's a white one there. Can you explain a little bit about that, educate golfers on that shaft? Yeah, so this is the El Dillo Rogue 130 MSI. So it is 70 grams in weight. Uh, so it is going to be your most stable, smooth golf shaft. So it's for your your higher swing speed player, it's gonna be your, your low launch, low spinner golf shaft. Perfect, so between these five shafts, golfers are gonna have uh, some option that will fit their game, fit their swing at no upcharge, right? These are the five kind of stock, no upcharge shaft offerings for the G425 drivers, um, surely to fit into any you know, golfer skill level uh, that you might have out there, one of these five shaft offerings will be available. Now, one thing we should also add, the grips here, at least the stock grips that they offer, right, the, the Tour Velvet, um, also come with Arcos, so the Ping uh, G425 drivers come with that Arcos technology. I know you, big fan of that, Thomas. Uh, it helps with uh, really breaking down your game by giving you data on the golf course, your swing data, performance on the golf course. That's another added feature to the G425 in addition to these no upcharge shafts and of course the performance that you get from the club heads. So, Thomas, thank you for joining, providing the information on the stock shaft offerings for G425 drivers.